Okay, now we're on the second part of OSPF authentication. We configured all the routers, put OSPF routing protocol and programmed the routers with that. Now we're moving into making sure that we can communicate across. So I'm going to ping across from PC0 to PC1 and PC1's IP address should be 192.168.0.2 but let's make sure. I may not have configured those in the last video so we'll do that this time. Let's see, IP address for PC1 192.168.0.2 192.168.0.1 is the default gateway and let's make sure we do the same thing for PC0. Then we're going to ping right across. Okay, this IP address is 192.168.1.130 and 192.168.1.1. Mask. 168.1.129 is the default gateway. All right, now let's see if we can ping across. There we go. Everything looks good. If you ping it again, you'll get all four packets. The first timeout is the ARP request reply. So you're going to get a timeout the first time it sends a packet over because it has to do ARP. After that, it works, so everything looks good. We have full connectivity across in this network. So let's take a look at our lab. We know on step six that we've done this because we just tested it. Step seven says we're going to configure OSPF authentication. First thing to do is to be in interface configuration mode. So in Dublin, we'll begin these commands. On the serial interface in Dublin, we'll type IP OSPF message dash digest dash key one MD5 space question mark and it's saying it gives you 0 through 7 encryption type. Uh, what we're going to do is put in 7A secret. So they give you the process of using question mark to see the next command. So we'll put 7 a secret is the password. Okay, once we've entered that command, we're going to router OSPF. So let's exit here. We're back in global mode and we're going to type in the next command next command is router OSPF 1 area 0 authentication message digest they say to wait a few seconds to see if there's any output We'll end here. Copy, run, start. We'll do a show IP OSPF neighbor. Okay, we've got Washington that needs the same authentication commands entered. So we basically have to see it configured on both routers for it to work. Let's get to your Washington. router and enter these commands. Okay. 
Hey. Enable configure terminal interface serial 000. Do IP OSPF message. Hit the tab key and it'll auto complete at this point. 1MD57 A secret. Exit do router OSPF1. And we're going to do area zero authentication. Message digest. Enter. Do end copy run start. Okay now, they want you to do a show IP OSPF neighbor and a show IP route. And show IP route, everything should be back to normal. Okay. So we're going to ping Washington House from Dub Dublin. And what we've just basically done is set up authentication to occur. So let's go to the host. Ping across. And we have connectivity. Setting up authentication allows for a more secure connection and more security for OSPF to work. This is using the MD5 hash. So these are the commands in order to enable authentication. It's a very simple lab. And it's a, a good way to learn configuration commands. Now these authentication commands are difficult to memorize, so typically people will use either the help uh, part of Cisco or a portable command guide. And that concludes the part two video of OSPF authentication. The next video will be on OSPF um, route propagation.